So we got the Bonanza bike up to 36 miles per hour. Three and a half horse Briggs Bonanza bike, 36 miles per hour and 8.94 from zero to 30. 8.94, 8.94. With a stock three and a half horse Briggs that came on the bike. So now on the quest for more top speed, I'm gonna go ahead and swap this three and a half horse Briggs out for either this Predator or maybe this Duramax. This Duramax looks like it's rated at seven horse, 208 cc. So I might just go ahead and throw the Duramax on there and see what the difference will be in top speed and zero to 30 with the Duramax versus the Briggs. Alrighty, go ahead and cut this wire for the kill switch. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a uh, crimp connector on it. So it's easy to plug back in if I ever put the Briggs back on it. Go ahead and crimp her down right there. All right. There we go. I can just plug that into any Predator or whatever, Tilly. All right, there we go. Go ahead and pull out these motor mount bolts. Pull off these back ones. All right, let's go ahead and pull off this throttle linkage. Probably gonna have to pull off this air filter. All right, here we go. Pull off this little end here. Oh, there we go. Sweet. All right. So there we go. There's that. Now let me pull this chain off of here. All right. There's that. So there we go. Have to bring it off. What's nice about these uh, Bonanza mini bike mounts? Get all kinds of mounting holes. You can mount whatever you want on this thing. Looks like it fits on there really nice. A lot of room. That mounts really nice. Go ahead and line up the chain. Gonna go ahead and just run a 12 tooth so it's a direct comparison to the Briggs. The Briggs had a 12 tooth. key in here. Yes. Alrighty. The chain on here. I don't know if it's enough chain or not. The length of the chain was perfect. I mean, because look, the mount is like literally right in the middle, so you get adjustment either way. Nice. And it all actually lines up on those uh, holes. Cool. I guess I bolted down right there. Let's 
See if I can fit these back ones down in here. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, this thing's going too easy. I don't know. Seems like something's got to go wrong. This is just too easy. This is like the easiest swap ever. Go ahead and tighten it down right there. about right go ahead and plug in this kill switch there's already a spot for it right here I think all right so that was easy enough all righty man this thing is just too easy let's go ahead and hook up the throttle and then um, put some oil in it and gas and should be good to go yeah that was like the easiest swap in the history of swapping these engines onto little bikes. Yeah, see, I'm kind of glad I put those foot pegs out a little ways because when you put these bigger engines on here, you still have some foot peg, especially on the bikes that have the middle foot pegs. Let's see if we can get a throttle going here. Hopefully. Off this air filter. I'm going to figure out a way to hook the throttle up without using the um, governor, bypass the governor. So I'm going to go ahead and use this little piece off of another throttle linkage. Put the cable right there, hook it to the bar, hook it to the little bar, and that way it's directly to the throttle and not through the governor. You go ahead and take that off so I'm not using any of the governor because you can't have a rocket ship with the governor Alrighty. here we go pull off all these springs there we go I don't need that on there anymore. So now, throttle is just straight throttle and not ran through a spring because that's gonna slow it down. So now, we pull off this rod here, off this throttle linkage. Go ahead and bend this up a little bit. Get my little clamp on here. All right, there's that. Go ahead and bend this back. Up to the throttle arm. There's that. All right, so I went ahead and put the spring, or I went ahead and put the cable over here on this hole instead of this one. It was more of a straight shot. And I ran a little spring, a return spring. And then put the clamp up to my little rod. So anyway, and then hooked the clamp up to the uh, rod. So anyway, total governor bypass now. Nice simple throttle. Now, should we install this air box, hopefully. If I can get it in here, there we go. Alrighty, tighten her down right here and we'll see if everything works once I get the um, air box all bolted down. Make sure the linkage still clears everything. Let's 
see if we got the throttle in there. All right. Yep, looks like it still works. I might just go ahead and take this off the recoil and put the string back here. It's easier to start it from the back with a mini bike. Make it a lot more convenient. So just start, uh, trying to start it from the front. Okay. I get this knot untied. So there's that. Now it's towards the back. Be a lot better. Pop this back on. Okay. There's that. There we go. That's a lot better. Have it up here. Okay. So there we go. Get the engine bolted down, throttle hooked up, chain hooked up. Go ahead and tighten up that clutch a little more and then go ahead and put oil on it. Let's see if we can get her fired up. Choke. Run. Alrighty. Go out and run her around for a while. Get her broken a little bit. Then do some top speed in 0 to 30. Okay, let's see what the top speed was. See if we can beat 36. Okay, we beat the 36, it did 41. 41 miles per hour. All right, let's go do zero to 30. All right, zero to 30, zero back. Duromax engine on the Bonanza bike knocked off a little over four seconds from zero to 30 and five miles per hour top speed. So mainly you feel a big difference in torque. It's a little bit faster, but it's mainly a lot more torquey, quick. All right, so it went from 36 miles per hour and 8.940 to 30 to 41 miles per hour and 4.83.